you All shot right. a bullet next to a supercar going over 2,700 miles per hour. Car faster than a fighter jet. This vehicle can't exist. You're dealing with compressible air, shock waves, and re-entry levels of heat. You're gonna need active cooling like the space shuttle, or nuclear thermal shielding. No tires are surviving this, no road is surviving this. You'd vaporize this vehicle from aerothermal stress, your body's gonna liquefy from vibrations and acceleration, and your electronics are gonna arc from all this friction-generated plasma. But, okay, let's see. Their speeds would match, so could you just reach out and grab the bullet? So here's the problem with this. Your relative velocity is about zero, but you're not stationary relative to the air. The frictional heating is going to raise surface temps above 1500 Celsius, which is hot enough to melt titanium alloy. Also, G-forces would destroy you. Well, the bullet would be almost 200 degrees, meaning you would- Yeah, so the bullet will be colder than you. <laughs> get seriously burned. It'd also be spinning thousands of times a second, which would- Due to the rifling, sure. So in nuclear systems, we sometimes try to insert probes into fast-moving moving coolant flows. You have to watch out for turbulence, thermal gradients, and tiny mismatches. So a slight angle misalignment is gonna blow things apart. This is a precise operation, not free-handed, if, even if you somehow survive. Peel the skin and fat yeah. right from your hand. And even if you had a super thick glove, you'd be destroyed before all this, but okay. Your arm would actually snap as soon as it left the car. There wouldn't be anything left of 